Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into the Silly Goose Sports Talk. I am back, and I am Big T. And I am Skippy, and also I I, I remember my my goose call. Hey, and please like scub, subscribe, and we'll bring you our take on lace sports. Mm-hmm. That was a weird intro, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, How's we... everyone doing this week? How's how are you doing, sweet time? Oh, uh, this week was really chaotic, actually, the past two weeks. So first off, we had that train concert, which was absolutely amazing. Voice of Reason went, he took us, and uh, yeah, it was really, really fun. They did um, all their classic Even hits. the producer liked it. I mean, surprising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so we will not talk about the other act that me and my buddy did not particularly like. You guys are but, such nerds, man. No, it is because it sucked. It was you can't. Timmy, it's, you, you Timmy, can't. it's a, I think it's a you taste thing. No, I, t- I I talked to my people at the radio station. They said it sucked too. <laughs> my mom sucked. Be happy to hear that one. No, that's okay. All right. Speaking of job, I am now working at the radio station with the promo crew. So. Yay, let's go. Let's plug them right here. Thunder 104.5 and Super Hits 95.9. So go to... Yeah, because they really need plugging from our from our 30 viewers, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> as yep. if none of us, you know, that, that makes and sense. And the highlight of the week would definitely have to be Work Camp, which was absolutely amazing experience. We went and we did a deck. The problem was we did the staining for the deck. I don't know exactly what was in that wood stain, but that combined with dehydration was not a really good combo. What? It, no, I I inhaled the chemicals. Oh. And I was really dehydrated. I oh, don't so specific. I don't remember much because I was out of it because I was. It was a migraine. It was hitting. I vaguely remember Jello sending me to bed at like seven o'clock. Nice. I, I woke up. No, wait, Jello day. sends you to bed. You have bedtime. Get to bed, boy. <laughs> Shit. Sent off. What day was, yeah, wait, it, was uh, okay, I survived, then. though. All right, then. Well, the same week, me, uh, me and my family, minus Aaron, minus my sister, of course, voice of reason, whatever. Aaron, who cares? Um, <laughs> who gets this one? Um, we went up to our grandparents' cabin. Oh, fun! So you know, we did stuff like uh, we went mini golfing. Still, did you lose again? Uh, well, I it was it was a hard course, and I still didn't get the whole one. I don't care about winning the games anymore. I want that hole in one. It's that was. It's, it's so. I hard. got a hole in one when I was like. Eight up at Potomac. You know, Timmy, I've gotten plenty of holes and ones in my life, but after the triple mini golf summer, where we at Myrtle Beach, where we went to three different courses and I didn't get a single one. Oof. That's that's one the the downfall. I won I won one of those games also, but not one hole in one. We got to use this for the books. Shut up, sir. <laughs> Put that down. Anyhow, we also went real golfing because I used to real golf maybe two years ago. Oh, fun. And before COVID. And I learned that there was this thing called fling golf. Huh? No, is fling golf, golf is it's like lacrosse, but with but with golf. Oh. So for people who can't play real golf, you fling it, you know. But let me tell you, me, me and dad's how do golf you, is how, very how do you but, like do a putt putt shot? Do you have to like go so <laughs> So no, it's so on the head. There's a putter. Oh, where the thing flings. But the be let me tell you, me and Dad's first few holes was were pretty infuriating to play. Ooh, <laughs> like the literally the first two holes. I'll talk about the later potato week. They were rough. <laughs> like I was hitting high and far, but it kept hit going in the woods, and it made me very. <laughs> Oof. When me, me and dad are very grumpy golfers, I'm, yeah. you know, the prettier so he's, is we're that not the happy. He has such a dodgeball arm. I don't, maybe, <laughs> I, I doubt <laughs> it, but maybe it's from bowling. Who knows? Anyhow, oh, let's hop into bowling too. Oh, yeah. here's a bowling ball. I'm scared for my life. Oh, I, gosh. 
Yeah, we went I did bowling not need for, that thought my, for my little sister's birthday because she's been wanting to go for like three years oh, every single for birthday bowling. So we finally went. Dad crushed us all. I did fine towards the end. But anyway, we can hop right into baseball. So Fred Nats, free and free on the week. Big T will be at three of the games this week. With the radio station, and hopefully Thursday, as the as the producer will be there. So nah, I'm there Friday, Saturday, and Monday. No, that's cool. Hey, you though. guys can come by for fireworks on Friday. You see what was the voice? Even? Hey, you guys can come on Friday. So that was so My weird to. Uh, I had to do a nice. That's your advertising voice. You sound like a. Never mind. <laughs> family friendly show all yeah, right I mean, speaking of yeah, baseball you're thinking you probably face for it you you do <laughs> your thing for the Nats and pirates i got my orioles rant right here what oh i see Nats drop two of three to the Orioles and the take two of three from the net from the rangers now what is going with one soda right now right now he's hitting up just 214 and has posted career lows thus far on base percentage, slugging percentage in OPS. It's just a now down year. It's the yeah. whole the whole team is down. There's no there's not that much confidence right now. So it explains that he's having a down year. Pirates, now we have we took it three or four for the Cubs. But then got swept by the Rays. Last week, we talked about O'Neill Cruz, finally brought up for the minors. Now, he did have a minor, a major impact on the team. In his first game of the Pirates with the season, he set a new team and league highs in exit velocity, speed, sprint speed, and arm strength. So that's very good. Oh, nice. Now, that's Orioles. Good. Now, the Orioles are on a tear. Now, this, this team used to suck. Well, what happened? The Orioles are good. They take two of three from the Rays, two of three from the Nats, and three of four from the White Sox. And in, in, in that gaggle of wins, there's a four-game win streak, which hasn't happened in who knows how long. They continued their winning ways last night with a 9-2 to two win over Seattle. And holy crap, let me pull up the standings right here. They, they were, like, really far back. They're still – almost 20 games back in the division, but they're only like five games back in the wild card. They're seven and three in their last 10. Holy moly. They're 35 and 40. They're only five games under 500, but they're good. They'll be over 500 by the end of the month. Well, not, not by the end of the month, but by July, the Orioles are, what happened? These guys are good now. Let's go. Well, I, I want to, you know, don't push your luck to me. I know it's just that they they they've just been on. I'll see Jake Brave. Jake Brave also. Uh, oh, Atlanta! What happened in Atlanta? Let me check. Oh yeah, four and three on the week. They lost two or three versus the Dodgers in the weekend's marquee matchup. Mm-hmm. Now other MLB news: Bryce Harper broke his little finger while batting and is out for at least six weeks. <laughs> Doth the pinky. <laughs> just just amputate and get back out there. Yeah. NHL, we have a bit of Capitals news. Yeah, Alex Ovechkin makes his professional soccer <laughs> debut. That's for pretty the funny. Russian Premier League's Dynamo Moscow FC. Ovechkin scored in the 11th minute. Will this count towards him catching Gretzky? Honestly, you should just quit hockey and play soccer. Yeah, he Did could you do Steve that. out there, bro. He was, he was a big man. <laughs> I didn't realize how large he was. Thank God. Yeah, there's a big bruiser on the soccer pit. I mean, he's probably better at soccer than he is hockey. Maybe if, if the soccer goals can count towards him catching Gretzky, then so be it. Other NHL we consist of the Stanley Cup. The Avalanche yeah. finished the, the Lightning in nine games, winning the, uh, on nine. the road 2-1 to one in a surprising low-scoring affair. Now, the Avalanche were the best team all year long 
and went 16 and four in their playoff run. Definitely deserving champion. So good for them. Now, no. other NHL news: the 22-22 Hall of Fame has been announced. Uh, you can take these names. No, I think you can, Timmy. I, I give you the honor. Roberto Luongo, Henrik Sedin, Daniel Sedin, Daniel Alfredson, Rika Saladin, and Herb Carnegie. Nice. Then also nice. in the NHL news, we got former Capitals coach. <laughs> Rots will not coach in the NHL next season, saying he's certain he's not in a position to give time and commitment required to do any job to his standard. Hmm. Yes. Sir. Now, now we have uh, awards the for the awards. 2022 year. Now Toronto's Austin Matt Hughes won the heart as the most valuable player to his team, <laughs> as well as Ted Lindsley. I think up south. That's nice. As the league's best player, as as decided by the players. Now we also have Colorado's Kale Maker took home the, the Norris as the league's top defenseman, and the Red Wings defenseman Mortis Cedar won the Calder as the top rookie. And Rangers, we have Igor Shesterkin. Shest, good job, Shesterkin won the award for the top goaltender. Yeah, well, he was pretty good. So now we actually have a d- decent amount of NFL news. So you can start off with the good old Washington Commies. The NFL has fined the Washington Commanders coach Ron Rivera a hundred thousand dollars and stripped the team of two OTA practices in 2023 for conducting excessive contact in spring drills. So, uh, yeah, Ron did. Dan uh, not. The NFL yeah, and was also, like, oh, you guys are hitting yourself too hard. Dan Snyder is now getting chased around by Congress as he's avoiding a subpoena. Does kids dead? All right, hopefully they chase Dan Snyder all the way to Mexico. Yeah, I mean, look, like, when I notice, I, it's like a gaggle of Congress people chasing Dan Snyder around a building. That's probably, that's what I envision. I uh, mean, Congress- Rivera is just getting smacked right now. Poor guy. Yeah. 100,000 for too much contact. Look, I'm not a Ron Rivera fan. I like Jay Gruden. Rivera is... <sighs> sure, is but... Oh, well, your, t- well, your team's screwed, but still. Oh, I know. Grand for, for excessive contact is a little... That's a little bit much. <laughs> A little bit excessive. I mean, assume. I mean, the fact that they're all millionaires that can't be too bad. Yeah, but you know, it, it, it'll, it'll. Yeah, it's hurt. still a, it's still it, a I mean, to the pocket. All right, what's yeah, up? I mean, it'll, it'll boost. Now we now Steelers. We actually have decent news, but also sad news. Anyways, we have signed former Browns and be and Bengals defense. Defensive tackle Larry Ojun oh, Ogunjobi. I can't spell that. Ogunjobi, maybe Tuesday to a one-year contract. Now we also signed quarter quarterback Kenny Pickett to a four-year contract with a team option for the fifth season. Now, now the standard contract for a first-round pick. So that's good. Nice. Another NFL news, you have Gronk retiring again. Let's see how long mm-hmm. this one lasts. Gronk's agent told it turn like Tom Brady. Schefter, yeah, he told Schefter that he wouldn't be surprised if his client could be coaxed out of retirement for a second time by Tom Brady. Who knows? We'll see. And then also, we got Deshaun Watson has settled most of his lawsuits out in court. There's still a few that are active. Stories indicate the NFL is pushing for a one-year suspension. Huh. Yeah, yeah. nice. It was with the big tease up the music to the minutes of the, the food All right, right, yeah. For big tease racing minute, you got a wild NASCAR race out in Nashville. Your boy Martin Truex Jr. sweeps the stages after a pair of really long rain delays. The battles seem to be between Truex and Denny Hamlin for the win, but Kyle Bush and Chase Elliott emerge in the final stage, duking it out on the track and in the pits during green flag pit stops. 
Elliot beat Bush on a restart and held him off until Josh Balicki blew an engine. Dilemma in the pits emerged as flashbacks of the 2020 Coke 600 flew through minds of Hendrick fans everywhere. Elliot stayed out of the pits as Bush and company pit. Chase took the lead on the restart and never looked back, taking his second win of the year. And, uh, yeah, that's really awesome for him. He'll um, extend those point standings. He's got extends his point lead over Ross Chastain. He's got a 30-point lead over him. Then another point over Blaney. And then Kyle Busch is far back. Logano is far back. So the summer stretch can be a time for him to put his foot down and uh, run away with the regular season championship. And that's all we got for racing this week. Now, the USFL playoffs to the championship for the Philadelphia Stars. They took a winning lead and wipe out against Maurice Alexander. They took a punt from the 15 on a two minutes left and ran it to the house. That's good. That's good. Stars will face hometown, the Stallions, in the the championship. You can take NBA because I don't like the NBA. All right. The Wizards are expected to re-sign Bradley Beal. I say let him go. And you can get one of the Brooklyn Nets superstars leaving. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are not expected to return there. So I say you just pick up Durant. Other NBA news, you got former Wizard and current Houston Rockets guard John Wall exercised his $47.4 million play, player option for the 22-23 season. The Rockets will continue to seek out trade scenarios in the coming weeks, but are accept, expected to work with Wall on a contract buyout if a trade cannot be found. Nice. Now, golf, the four-time major championship works. Books, Copia, I don't know, is the series, is is the, is the has defected from the PGA. I think, I think, I think there's a typo here. Is the has defected from the PGA door to the LI Golf International Series? Okay, so we left the PGA, went to the went to the golf, the the, the ally of the B, the new golf one, international series, the Ponzi scheme one. Sure. Now, one time PGA Tour winner Abram Ackner signed with the LIV Golf and will compete in the next week's second event. Anchor, anchor, who won the twenty twenty one WGC Saint June International. For this lone tour title. Now, this is a very confusing read. This is like a math equation. You have to figure it out. Oh, yeah. Is the 20th ranked player in the world and becomes the seventh top 50 player to sign. However, the PGA is fighting back. The tour hopes to introduce a revamped schedule that will include purses with worth at least $20 million and at least is it at, at, at least eight existing marquee events. In free events in global golf series that will include no cuts, limited fields, and purses of at least $25 million. What's up? Oh, what? nice. Huh? Anyhow, soccer. Uh, we got nothing for U.S., nothing for EPL, and you got uh, MLS, you got D.C. United loses to Nashville 3-1, so booby. What are the jokes this week? Uh, uh, no, Sammy. These are getting better, and these are getting worse at the same time. Let's hear it. What do you call a sad strawberry? What? A blueberry. The you way know, you said that, I don't know if that made it better or worse. I think I think it gave you the good old times of the blueberry muffin. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I think I gave you nostalgia. No. <laughs> no, no. Everyone's probably so confused about what we're talking about there. It's fine. They don't need they don't need no. Now, <laughs> what do you call an army of babies? What? Infantry. Oh no. Timmy, oh. what do you call a student who doesn't like math class? What? A calculator. Uh, now, what do you call Dracula with hay fever? The what? pollen count. 
Okay, that one was good. <laughs> that one was good. What do you see? What do you see if a what do you do if you see a fire, man? You put it out, man. All right, I'm gonna do one more now. Timmy. Yeah. This, this is like this is a classy joke, right? What do you get when the king when the Queen of England farts? What? <laughs> a noble gas. Come on. And then we have <laughs> one more. One more for, for fun. What do you get uh... when you mix alcohol in literature? What? Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> ah, good, good stuff right there. Good stuff. All right, what are our potatoes this week? Uh, um, from potato, um, potato week. We're gonna, we we didn't really have. Ah, it's a dog. Ah! You want for me? What do you want from me? Okay, as you can see on YouTube, this is why uh, you watch on YouTube and not on the other streaming platforms. Skippy is getting mugged by his dog at the moment. It's a dog. She's Asian. So yeah, it's a dog. Can the if the dog can read off the potatoes this week, then that'd be really we, great. Read them off, silly. Read them off. Anyway, the potato of the week. We had the first few holes at Grace Resort. Now, as as Zelly, you know how bad they were, right? Was she there? That's an answer. No, of course not. <laughs> now, it, it, the first maybe two holes, they were both par fives, par sixes. They were rough. Now, yeah, I didn't like They were really hard, especially since me and Dad didn't go to the driving range to warm up. So it was just... Oof. Many balls were lost. Many slams were made. Now, we're on to the week at the Mariners. And the Angels for brawling in the that fracas that lasts roughly 18 minutes six players and six players three on each side and both managers were were ejected fines and suspensions are also likely in mariners catcher lewis hmm. now Bob potato number two we have green day billy joe armstrong renounces his citizenship because of the Supreme Court decisions. Now, we're not going to talk about the decisions here because yeah, we're, we're not, not a political anywhere. podcast. But if he's not an American citizen anymore, then he is no longer an American idiot. He's just an idiot, period. Perfect. <laughs> now, Perfect. on top of the week, we have Dan Snyder, former team chief uh, operating officer, David... Um, Pukin told the House Chief Oversight Committee several instances that shine more of a negative light on Snyder the Smite, Snyder the Spider. Now, apparently, this is also from Mr. Snyder, I believe. Now we could no, so we completed a business deal in with the learner's view, and Dan's view was way too much money to pay, but we needed the parking. Pukin's testimony reads that Dan wanted to see Mark Lerner's. Here, Timmy, you can read this because I'm trying to pick my All right. Pukin's testimony read Dan wanted to see Mark Lerner's suite, and we, we go up there to his suite. This was on a non game day. Dan asked me to pour milk on the carpet under the seating in, in Mark Lerner's suite so that the, the suite would smell like sour milk when the Lerner family came on game day. And he had redacted, that's a bad word there to do it on another occurrence. So if you're asking me things I regret doing, that would fall into that category. I owe Mark Lerner an apology, but I did it because Dan told me to do it. Oof. Mm. Oh, I knew Snyder was a trash bag. I didn't know he was that bad. Well, that, I mean, I don't, I don't know why he thought to, that he was that bad. He was, t- no, I, knew he was I, knew he, I knew he was a trash bag, but I didn't know he would do things that immaturely. Yeah. Two to the week, we have Ovechkin scoring a, in a soccer game and having a defender just bounce off this mountain of a man trying to get in front of Ovi during a play. 
Dude, the guy's just trucking everyone. Yeah. Honestly, he could be a better soccer player. So I'm saying no. Very well, could be. We'll see. Now, Christian Yaver. I really did. Christian he- Javier. He- Javier. Yeah, thought I messed that one up. Hector Neres and Ryan Presley of the Astros, who combined to to no hit first place Yankees. Good job, good job. Good for them. And now it is time for, for the, the big days music. No. What the heck? Why did you do that? I need. Why to... is there an image of me? <laughs> Hold the... on, I'm going to the creepy, charts. Timmy. What's going no, on here? Oh, Timmy. Whoa, so Timmy. Whoa now. For the Instagram with the dog. Whoa. All right. This, this week's charts, we got a couple new songs on the charts this week. Number 38, we got What My World Spins Around by Jordan Davis at 38. Whoa, whoa. He had me at Heads Carolina by Cole Swindell, whoa, a song that whoa. I've been lobbying for to get, to get on the radio since that album whoa, came out. Baby, you spin me like a record, baby, right? Well, you spin me and also, right. you have another... This is the highest debut that we've had in a long time. The Kind of Love We Make by Luke Combs, which is off his new album, Growing Up. Top-notch album, by the way. It's at number 18. And uh, this week's top five, we got AA by Walker Hayes at number five. Mm-hmm. Darns Beep Straight by Scotty McCreary at number four. Trouble with a Heartbreak by Jason Aldean at number two. No, at number three. Wasted on You by Morgan Wallen at number two. And Take My Name by Parmalee at number one. That's the most bland number one we've had in a long time. That song doesn't. I mean, it, it's not catchy at all. It's just it's not a terrible number five, but it could be worse. I mean, it's, I mean, it's nice to see Parmalee get back on top. They haven't had a great song since Carolina in like, what, 2017? Why, how is AA still up there? I mean, AA is catchy, but it sounds a lot like a summer song. Well, it is a summer song. I'm sorry, it sounds like his other one. Oh, it's not as bad as Fancy Like. Fancy Like sucked. No, to me, the only reason you think the Fancy Like is bad because it blew up and you were, you were upsetty spaghetti about it. Look, I have immense respect for Walker Hayes. I just really like the stuff he had in his first album, but Fancy Like was a TikTok trend, and I hate TikTok trends, and the song just plain old sucks. I mean, at least, this, I mean, the song made him blow oh, up. Yeah, he, so he, 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 he got money off of it, good for him, but the song sucks. Yeah, popularity off of it, which is something. Oh, yeah, and I, I think that was huge for his career i think he's making a lot more money off of it than he would have previously sure i hate that song with a passion <laughs> i hate it. i love walker hayes but i hate that it's song. like there will be okay what is next Where on the docket like? this week for the show we are getting that we're getting hey we gotta hurry up we're getting time locked again we have 10 minutes man all right continue uh, yeah, that's it for Big Keith Music Notes. But uh, it's also for the podcast the this Apple week. Drop? Now, yeah, um, we can catch up for a few minutes. Oh, well, sure. I mean, thinking about what you guys do while I was gone, anything fun that I missed in town? Well, other, other than the infuriating golfing, I got my first donut, my first actual donut. Uh, there's hey, a donut truck. They did have peanuts, and they also fried everything in. Um, is the donut shop near the church? No, no, it's in. No, it's all the way up in Chan. No, it's very far. Uh, Two hours for donuts, because that's where we were up in the Shenandoah Mountains. So, yeah, we can we can talk about a little bit about our our Pakistanian friend Yifan, if you if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is this one um, Instagram account that uh, I don't know if it's really a bot or if it's this dude from Pakistan. Uh, no, could be either. No. I think it's a bot, but I don't know. He likes his own uh, posts. He he likes his own posts. 
he likes every post and will do in capital letters, wow, with a heart emoji and an, a surprise face emoji. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's it it it's kind of it's kind of hard to to you know he friends a special lad I don't, I don't even know if it's a real person i think it's a bot to be honest with you i don't know because he has the same picture with like 10 different filters on it yeah exactly if 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 he put a new picture on there i think it's real but it looks like he ran it through <laughs> he ran uh, every filter on Snapchat or something like that. It's just so weird. Like he'll have his face on a phone with rain. <laughs> like it's he went just, it's t-shirt just so design. Weird. No, it's like he went through one of the t-shirt design things. Yeah. Uh we no hate to our boy E fraud, but it's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's not as bad as other DMs that we've gotten. Well, we don't actually have any bots accounts on this. Like you just went like like the five times I've gone on. So well, that's, that's good. And Anyhow, that's, I just wanted to yap so. about that for two seconds. Yeah, that was fun. All right. Now we will hopefully see you all next week as we are almost I believe we actually have we're at 80. 283 subs so yeah we're 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 we're, we're, let's, we're getting up let's there. keep pushing 100 hopefully yes, before the sir. end of the year it should be pretty easy but we'll see yes sir now, make sure it, now good luck for timmy on his job collapse for him Thank actually you. getting a radio job and Thank ladies you. and gentlemen we will see you oh also also i want to say i want to say this we, we also father fulmar is unfortunately leaving so thank you to him for everything yeah. he's done thank if you that's so the priest at our church also, Zelly's back. Play want to come for the, the exit. Come for the exit. And everybody, I would like to say goodbye to you. And Zelly says it too. And we will see you all. Next let the week. dog blow on the. Let the dog Zelly, blow on the. Blow it. Blow it. Oh no, she's just clicking. Like <laughs> oh, she's moving out of my face. Oh, she has it. Goodbye. <laughs>